Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 5th of 2023 well, it is titled Messier 45, the daughters of Atlas and Pleione. So what do we see here? Well, this is the star cluster known as the Pleiades or as Messier 45 as the 45th entry in Charles Messier's catalog that recorded objects that were not individual stars, but were larger than that and might potentially be confused with the comet through a small telescope. So here what we see the Pleiades, the very blue color is dust around these stars. Now the dust is actually not directly associated with the Pleiades, they simply happen to be passing through a dust cloud. And when you have bright hot stars in a dust cloud, you get a reflection nebula. Now reflection nebula occurs when the dust around the stars scatters light from those stars and the dust is preferential to scattering blue light as compared to red. So the longer red wavelengths are able to pass through the dust and are not directly observed and the shorter the shorter blue wavelengths are scattered and seem to come from all directions. So not the exact same process, but something similar to what happens in our own atmosphere, giving the sky the blue color where that the light in the sorry, the particles in our atmosphere are better able to scatter the blue light from our sun, and make it appear to come from all directions, whereas the red light comes straight through. And we notice that specifically at sunset, when the sun is going sunlight is going through a lot of atmosphere, and therefore the what's getting through that atmosphere is very orange and red giving it that distinct color and the blue light gets scattered all over the place and comes from all directions. Now the Pleiades is known as an open star cluster meaning it is a star cluster that is not gravitationally bound together. So these stars are slowly separating and will we notice a change over the next decade or even century? No, it takes a much longer time than that. But over hundreds of thousands or millions of years, the stars will slowly spread out and disperse out into the general population of our galaxy. So what we see is the Pleiades star cluster is just a temporary thing from these stars which once formed all together currently moving through space together and will eventually spread out and no longer be visible as the cluster that we know today. So that was our picture of the day for January 5th of 2023. It was titled Messier 45 the daughters of Atlas and Pleione. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.